Hello and welcome to the Peak Climbing School's Top Tips for Climbers. In this series, we're going to look at a variety of different skills and techniques to help you improve as a climber. In this first video, we're going to be looking at clove hitches and a couple of really useful ways of being able to tie this knot. First of all, let's have a look at the way you normally tie a clove hitch. You do this by creating two loops in the rope and then crossing those loops over the front of each other and attaching to a carabiner. What you must be aware of when doing this is create the loops exactly the same way. For example, going left over the top of right and then left over the top of right again. You'll notice that we have one piece of rope that comes in front of a horizontal piece of rope and then on the second loop we have a piece of rope that goes behind this horizontal section here. If you don't do the loops the same way, you achieve this. Where we have two bits of rope in front of this horizontal section here. And therefore when you cross it over, it doesn't actually create a clove hitch. Meh. It doesn't matter which way you do these loops. For example, I can go left over right, left over right, cross, that's a clove hitch. Or I can go right over left, right over left. As long as you get one piece of rope from one loop in front of the horizontal part, and then one piece of rope behind the horizontal section there, and then you cross them over. When you're crossing these loops over, ensure that the loop with the rope that comes through the front crosses behind the loop with the rope coming through the back. And you'll get this kind of cross section in here. If you just go straight across like that without pushing them towards each other, you will just create just a loop. So that's a normal way that we tie a clove hitch. However, this next method is far quicker and I personally think it's a lot easier to tie this way. So with this next method, just hold the rope out in front of you like this. It doesn't matter which arm you cross over, I'm going left over right here. Basically hold the rope with your arms crossed, pull your arms till they become horizontal and you'll notice we've got this pattern again. A loop with the rope coming through the front, a loop with the rope going through the back, cross them over and there we go. We have a clove hitch. The reason I like this method so much is because once practiced you can become super quick at tying clove hitches. There we go. This final method is by far the most useful, especially if you find yourself on a multi pitch climb with the use of only one hand. To tie this one handed, clip the rope into the carabiner exactly the same you would clip a quick draw. If the gate is on the right hand side, take the rope from underneath the carabiner, twist clockwise, and you'll create a second loop, same pattern, one in front, one behind, and clip that through the carabiner like that, and hey presto, you've got a clove hitch. The gate of the carabiner is on the left hand side, do exactly the same thing to start, clip the rope in the same way with quick quickdraw, but this time take it from the bottom and up to the right, and make a loop by twisting anti-clockwise, and you'll get one in front, one behind, again, clip it back into the carabiner, and there you go, another clove hitch. So there we go, a couple of really cool things for you guys to keep in your climbers toolbox. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel below. And for more information on any of the courses that we run here at the Peak Climbing School, please follow the link to our website in the description below. See you next time. And for now don't be afraid, if the sun never rises, the sun